Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today I'd like to talk to you about grace over works. And uh, a few days ago I was sitting next to a vicar at a conference and uh, got chatting to him about sabbaticals. He'd just taken a sabbatical and uh, he said that that was the first sabbatical he'd taken in nearly three decades. You know, he'd been entitled to one before then, uh, several times over, but had never got around to it because he's so busy and so focused on the work and and uh, it was a bit poignant really listening to him reflect on it because as he'd stopped during a sabbatical he'd kind of realised that he should have stopped long before and and actually if he'd stopped more regularly to just rest in God's presence perhaps God would have guided him differently and he'd got to the point where he wasn't sure really why he was doing what he was doing or, or whether what he was doing was worthwhile and uh, it, was a, it was a poignant thing really and and he said something quite profound he said that we Protestants pride ourselves on our theology of being justified by faith and by the grace of God alone and not by our own efforts or works. And yet he said, don't we though live as though the opposite were true, as though we were justified by our busyness and our activity and that we've got to make it all work and that the onus is on us. And I think that was profound. It resonated with me. And in so many ways, the justification by works kind of thinking creeps into our our lives and uh, I've been thinking about the miraculous recently and the supernatural about genuine transformation in discipling and kind of beating myself up really and getting myself in knots because it, it, it's not happening more and I feel that like that's my fault that the onus is on me and uh, and actually that's that's not the theology of grace is it that's starting to think of faith as a, as a work and rather than as a gift or as a, an invitation into God's grace and the, the movement of his power and I, I realised that I, I'm always kind of hunting around for the, the magic switch, the silver bullets going to solve everything. And I just need to think in a different way and things will unlock. And actually, I think I just need to let go of that notion and um, and just relax into God's grace more. There's a, a, a passage in uh, a verse in um, Galatians chapter three, verse five, which says this. Paul's berating the Galatians. He says, I ask you again, does God give you the Holy Spirit and work miracles among you because you obey the law? Of course not. It's because you believe the message you heard about Christ. And I realised that, that that resonated with me. You know, does God do miracles just because, you know, we're following some law or formula? No, it's, it's just because Jesus Christ is real and we trust that and, um, and relax into that and into the grace of God. And I found a really freeing uh, thought, the smell of life as opposed to death that a lot of my thinking had done before. I read a book recently about the, called The Way of Blessing, which is talking about um, miracles and uh, the supernatural. And it talked about how uh, these people uh, witnessed God doing miracles and, and they hadn't initiated the miracles. God just did them and they just pointed them out and gave glory to God. And I, I thought, oh, is the miraculous like that then? Is it is it actually because the human beings done the work and put in the faith or actually is it because God wants to do something? You know, is God waiting there saying, I really want to do a miracle, but, you know, your faith's not quite right. And you need to tweak it a bit and before I can I can work. And, and yes, there's some truth that we need to step out in faith and pray in faith and so on. But I think that that stepping out of faith, that faith needs to come from the other side of surrender, of letting go, of relaxing into God's grace. Um, it needs to come from the launch pad of uh, of trust and peace and uh, graciousness and uh, just let, letting go to God. Um, because otherwise, you know, the devil's got gets us into all sorts of knots thinking that we've got to stump up the the faith power before um, God can do the, tra the transaction of a miracle. And I don't think it's true. And so this week, join me perhaps in just relaxing into God's grace a little bit more, being available to whatever he wants to do and recognising that the onus lies on God and his glory and not us and our weakness.